Daisy Ridley is on the show. Can you believe it? How are you, Daisy? It's lovely to see you. How are you doing? I'm all right, thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, we're so thrilled that you're here. Shall I tell you, I've got a really weird thing, because we've met quite a few times, <clears throat> but I always feel like we're closer friends than we actually are. <laughs> Does that make sense to you? Because no, I'm so fond I know what of you. you mean. Yeah, I'm so fond of you. you. And anytime I'm with you, I'm like having a lovely time. And then when I saw yeah. that you were coming on the show, I was like, oh, good old days. And then I thought, I don't even have a phone number. Why am I being <laughs> why am I being so familiar? I know what you mean, but I think it's because I've seen you, you know, on screen, off screen so many times. Well, that's it. Now, how Just... are you doing? How's this past year? Being, have you, I imagine, am I right in thinking you're one of those people through lockdown who's been super productive and just no. doing... Really? No. No, I've watched the entirety of Netflix. Yeah. I think I'm up to date with all of, like, the nominee films uh, and I've learned a bit of French. What, how have you been learning French? Do, what, On a lovely app. Oh, the, what is it called? The do a do a, what's it called? Do a leaper. Do a lingo. Do a lingo. Do a lingo. Do a lingo. Has been teaching yeah. me French. <laughs> she's amazing. Yeah, yeah. she's really Great good at teacher. it. It's amazing. It's her and uh, not not the not the baby, but I call him le bebois. <laughs> <laughs> do a leaper and le bebois. That's a little French. <laughs> oh, you haven't got to that bit on the uh, on the do a leaper app. Right. So, <laughs> how is the French going? Can you give us a little? Uh, ça va bien, merci. Oh. That's the probably, you know, there's not much. There's not much. I feel like French is quite easy to bluff your way through. <laughs> I feel like I think, and I think the French are okay with that when you just go, <laughs> no, c'est pas, c'est pas la panne no moi. Le panne no moi. I worked with someone that convinced me he was fluently Italian because he, all he said was, ah, he basically just went, ah, the whole time, and I fully thought he was fluent Italian. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah. All I know in French is, uh, quelle est la date de ton anniversaire? Quel. Quelle est la date? Oh, all right, chill out. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> now, you did something Brilliant. this year I am beyond jealous of. You went into the Bake Off tent for a charity yeah. episode of the Great British Baking Show without any spoilers. I'm mm. confident I'm looking at the Star Baker. Am I wrong? Uh, look, I went in saying I'm either going to be amazing or the butt of the joke, but obviously thinking I'd be amazing. Sure. And uh, I don't know that it went that way. Right. Uh, for my time. Um, it, yeah, and then I kept thinking, I'll pull it back. Like, I can fix this. Like, I'm a good baker. Yeah. My friend literally said to me, Days, I'm so confused because you can actually bake. And I was like, I know. Uh, but it was, uh, it, w it wasn't for me, but I raised money for charity, but it was, it was actually painful. Like, it's put me off baking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm really excited to watch it. I really, I'm very, very jealous that you got to do that. Look, this is you here, in the tent. Look at you! That's the face oh of a star God. baker. I don't care what you say. <laughs> now, let's go back, cos I can't imagine what it was like for you in 2014 when you were announced in the cast mm. of Star Wars, I feel like from that moment on, your feet haven't really touched the ground. This little moment of stop down while you have mm. had a moment to yourself, have you been able to look back at that time and have, do you have any perspective on what those years were like? Yeah, yeah, I think so. And I think uh, I feel... The thing is, I always felt really lucky and grateful and all that sort of stuff, but um, looking back, I'm like, wow. What an amazing, amazing thing. Like, you know, the most of my 20s, I met amazing people, went to amazing places and got to do, like, the, an amazing role. So I'm very... Yeah, and I feel like I've been able to take a step away and be like, wow. Because that time, I think for anybody that goes into a huge franchise like that, it just goes from zero to a million. Mm -hmm. Like, you couldn't... You, you, there must have been days where you couldn't have been in a supermarket without seeing your face on, like toothpaste and mm. bags of potato chips and mm. oven-ready burgers. Like, was it just... What's, what's, the, what's the strangest, as opposed to un-oven-ready burgers? Like, 
I don't know what they are. I don't... Look, OK, I'll level with you, all right? I'll level with you all. I don't go to the supermarket anymore, OK? <laughs> oh, my God. I get it. I'm trying to be a regular guy. I don't... I don't know. Whatever is put in the fridge, it just arrives, you know? Oh, my God. Where's the strangest piece of memorabilia that you've seen your face on? And do you keep any of this merchandise? Uh, lollipop was weird, cos I just thought, like... Like, someone's putting that in their mouth. Like, that is yes. so... <laughs> odd. Yeah. Yes. So that wasn't for me. I've got, a, I've got a couple bobbleheads. I may have a lightsaber. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, I was pretty minimal yes. on the things that I kept. I wouldn't mind my face on food. It's one of my favourite things. <laughs> You, I think you, you could do... I think whoever it is that puts the, your food in your fridge could hook you up with your face on the food no, in your fridge. No, but I want it to be store-bought. I want it to be store-bought. <laughs> we did do a thing here once, didn't we? Rob, for my birthday, and there was a load of mini cupcakes with my face on, and I really enjoyed saying to people, go ahead, eat my face. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Now, congratulations, Daisy, on your new movie, Chaos Walking. It's an original sci-fi action movie. Uh, for anyone who hasn't caught up with it yet, tell them what it's about and who you play. I play Viola. So, uh, uh, she is on a ship travelling to a planet where she thinks, basically, she's getting to the, this metropolis of people who have settled and made this, like, amazing world. And she crash lands, and it is not that at all. And she runs into Todd Hewitt, who is played by Tom Holland, who some people may know as Spider-Man. And uh, he's been led to believe that women do not exist. They were wiped out by uh, something. And it turns out they do exist. And they go on an, a bit of an adventure. He takes a bit of a leap of faith to go and uh, go with her so she can contact her ship. Now, the cast is amazing. There's so many brilliant people in it. But it's, you, you saw, like you said, with Tom Holland, Nick Jonas is in the movie also. Mm. What's it like hanging out with those two on and off set? They're just really famous, like, and very gracious. Like, we went out for dinner, uh, actually, when we were in Atlanta, me and Tom and the director and various people. And it's just like, he's really good when he's approached, but, like, they're just so famous. Like, it's nuts. Like, they went to, out to the casino a few times, and I was like, how do you even, like, walk around and, like, do your gambling? Uh, but both very nice about it, just, yeah, insane. I would say a Jonas Brother and Spider-Man are pretty safe in a casino. <laughs> I don't see... I don't You're see right. the... I don't yeah. see the late-night casino crowd in Atlanta... <laughs> ..being like, Brilliant. bro! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Take me out of this hand! Is that one of the Jonas Brothers? <laughs> They're like, come oh, on, baby, brilliant. give me this! Is that Spider-Man? Like, I actually think... I think that's the... Unless they're playing it in a schoolyard, that's the safest place they <laughs> yeah. can be. Well, the film yeah. is great, and you, as always, are so brilliant in it.